Uh, when we're going to be in the new studios downtown, we get these update emails from management about once a week. And they'll attach uh, some photos that are supposed to keep us abreast of the pro- uh, pro- uh, the progress that's <laughs> <Just go to bed. laughs> being made. I mean, one of them we were talking work weeks like they have over in Sweden or whatever, right? In other developed countries. Yeah. Mary, we were giving Mary hard time for saying that she was up since 9 o'clock yesterday morning. What a long day. Yeah, I've been up since like a quarter to five. I just couldn't sleep. So I get up and I start doing some work and, you know, and then the, uh, you can't even count on the sun coming up at a reasonable time anymore. And then it's snowing, so it's cloudy mm-hmm. anyway. Summertime, you know, if you get up really early, that sun's getting up with you, mm-hmm. you know. And rise it's, with uh, the tide. Oh, like baby. Squire. Rise <laughs> with the tide. <laughs> Yeah, up there in his uh, up there in his lake house, lake high rise. You weren't in the building that had the collapsed parking garage, were no, you? No, that over was, the break. That was down the street from me. Wow! But our friend uh, did anyone? Nobody. There were no people in there. Unbelievably, no, right? There was no people, but a lot of crushed automobiles. A lot of crushed I assume. cars. Wow! My buddy lives in that building, and he was home when it happened, so he heard. It all collapsed, and like you can watch in real time on his Facebook when it collapsed because he commented it. He made a post and said, "What the hell was that?" And he thought it was an earthquake, and then went outside and saw like they kicked him out of his building for the night. It was it's a miracle intense. there was yeah, no walked, person in there. I know. I, I walked over there and took some pictures, and was, did they have a it was crazy explanation why uh, sin. Gays. Yeah, people. <laughs> Probably. Gays. Yeah. <laughs> the gays. Wow. Uh-huh. You know, Lakewood is, uh, from my understanding, uh, Lakewood is uh, uh, long past its days of being synonymous with uh, uh, gay community or largely uh, gay. You would think that that would have happened a long time ago when they were in the hey day of Lakewood being um, referred to as such. But I guess not. So- they waited until now. For the sin to take hold. They didn't hit the sin meter yet. Is that the what it sin was? meter wasn't full. Ah, I see. So it just became full with, yeah. you know, people taking pot. Mysterious mm-hmm. ways, Alan. God <laughs> works in mysterious ways, mm-hmm. so sometimes it takes a little while for him to uh, use Punish. his wrath. Yeah, I see. All right. Smite. Yeah, it's why. But I wonder how many, did your friend know how many cars were crushed in that uh, collapse? Uh, I don't know if he got the actual count, but there's a... Good amount. As a resident, I would think maybe there'd be some buzz in the elevators or there'd be some uh, hubbub down at the precinct. Yeah, I don't know if they got an exact uh, count. But Hmm. I also haven't continually bothered him about details about this situation. And is your car covered by that? It's an act of God. Does your... Huh? It's an act of God. Insurance covers that, right? No, there are a lot of insurance companies that specifically don't cover acts of God because, as you've said... Mysterious ways, man. There's no mysterious ways clause in there. If you're Should Bono, be. probably right, but it's the but building no... insurance that will cover it because they're. It's not your your insurance company is going to go after the building. The insurance. building, yeah. yeah. Well, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that so an they... HOA thing or? Oh boy, some yeah. kind of a federal agreement. What is that? <laughs> I don't know if it's federal. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know if the federral government is involved in the, what if they were uh, they might in be parking garage I guess collapses I don't really no just that building yeah that was their secret hideout that yeah. was the democrats that drink the blood were hiding in that building that's why they were crushed mm-hmm. all that sinning going on down there uh boy i'll tell you what imagine you're somebody who was late for work already that morning now you got an excuse and they're like oh no i got uh and then you get down there and you find out that your uh your car has been pancaked by the collapsed now, again, all I saw was that one photo that was getting passed around. I, I was expecting for something of that magnitude, unless I missed it, there I feel was... like that didn't get a whole lot. It got like maybe 24 hours of coverage. Yeah, it got about Well, nobody that. died. Yeah. That's why. They're not going to keep covering broken cars. They're not? I don't think so. I mean, there's not a lot I mean, what of What else is going on other in than, Lakewood? And... Yeah, there's not a lot of other developments other than them just saying, okay, we've got some debris out of the way now, and we can, you know... I-Team wasn't doing full team coverage out there? Well, no. there, there actually Ed was Gallic a, wasn't out there on the scene? I think there was an update on it yesterday where there's so a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lawsuit against the building, and uh, I think Lakewood's filing some charges against the building. So, like, there's <laughs> all that exciting stuff I would like on. to see them extricate all the automobiles from this from the rubble or whatever because you know you've got those trucks maybe some of our listeners drive them we have a lot of truck drivers in the audience you know driving one of those automobile 
trucks, right? Mm -hmm. They pull one of those up, and they're hauling these cars out, stacking them like Pringles. There you go. On this uh, truck bed. That'd be fun to watch. I mean, not fun for the people who own those cars, but as we've established, Mm -hmm. the federal government will take care of those people as they were using that building (laughs) for some kind of a cult hideout. We understand, right? (laughs) (laughs) That part is unequivocal. That's why it collapsed. It was just, it the, collapsed The, under the, weight, the weight of weight. all the guilt, yes. mm-hmm. the weight of, wow. Well, if the, weight of, uh, if the weight of guilt won't collapse a human body, it seems uh, very, You've very... You've never collapsed from guilt? No. You're not even a good Catholic. Huh? I said you're not even a good Catholic if you never collapsed from guilt. Uh, you no, know, you just, you gird your loins and your shoulders. You huh. learn to withstand it. <laughs> it just mm-hmm. eats you up from the inside, you, you know? You get tension headaches. Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. <laughs> Boy, everything's expensive. I was talking to somebody this morning, you know, one of my New Year's resolutions, and I, I, you know, I made a couple of them. One of them is I need to find a weekly standing, well, not standing, lying down, a weekly standing massage appointment, right? Impossible. Well, it's not impossible. I've just noticed that massages have gotten very expensive. Very expensive. I have a membership where I get one a month for, I think it's 60 bucks or 70 bucks. And then, uh, which is still like they're the normal now is sixty. That's minute, great. A sixty S- minute massage is like ninety five dollars now. One hundred and fifty is what I saw. Whoa! Yep, yeah, between one hundred twenty like and one hundred fifty. Because I'm looking and I'm like, okay, I because my wife has somebody. Are you but, going to like some super fancy nope, like low key? Nope. I go to a chain place. I'm very that's where happy I looked. With it. That's where I looked. I'm like, I need firm pressure. I need it once a week. Neck, back, uh, shoulders, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe a little bit on the balls of the feet. Mm-hmm. And but other than that, of nothing fancy, nothing crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the balls of the feet. <laughs> yes, that's the important part there. Uh, that's right. And uh, no, I looked around and Can I was you like, work oh the my balls, God. a little bit of the feet. <laughs> oh, that, my feet. Oh, my feet. Uh, my feet. Please, my, please. my feet. Balls. Uh, Local radio. Host. Sir, this isn't a roadside <laughs> spa. Local mm-hmm. radio host Robert Kraft. This ain't found. Warren. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, uh, I have. Um, I know everything's getting expensive, you know, and and but boy, the massages. That was what did I what did I do the trade off for? I treated myself to a monthly massage. I think I traded off nails, like because I used to have my nails done every three weeks, and it was about the same price a month to do a massage. And I was like, man, I'm going to benefit way more from mm-hmm. getting massaged than keeping my nails done. And so, um, I actually. I don't want to, well, nobody knows where I go. I don't want to rat the girl out or anything, but there was a customer who worked at the massage place, and she was kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm meeting you in person, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I've been coming here for a year, blah, blah. Oh, she wasn't talking to the massage therapist. She no, was talking she to was you. talking to me. Oh, right. And so she hooked it up where she was like, she got me an every other week standing appointment. And she was like, this is, this is very difficult to do. Like, I shouldn't even be doing this type of thing. So uh, for you to find an every, I go, I mean, your name is on the show, though. Wait, so. wait, wait, wait a second. I'm ready. Was it the person who worked there who set this up the for you? The receptionist, yes. The receptionist set it up for you. The girl like, who checks you. you in. Got you. Yeah. All right. I thought, you, I thought you meant it was another person getting a massage. I'm like, how did they have this <laughs> in? <laughs> no, 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 no. I know the receptionist, <laughs> Just all right? give me a minute. She's Just, my cousin's sister. <laughs> we'll figure it out. She divorced my brother. It's all good. <laughs> you know, it was a little rough at the beginning, but we figured it out. But yeah, she the was... The kids spend half the week with her. Half, I'm already told you too much. Anyway... Bi-weekly, bi-monthly, whatever it is. Yeah, every other week. Huh. But she was even like, this is like what everybody wants, and it's just impossible to find. Well, again, it's not impossible to find. I found plenty. It's just I was surprised at how expensive it's gotten. Wait a minute. 150 per session? Per session. If you sign up for the monthly membership, it's only seventy dollars a massage. But do you get the? Can you get them weekly? Yes, you I need them as much I, as you want. But I need them at like in the morning, and, and a lot I of people don't do that. I go at nine a.m. on Tuesdays. Do you? Yep. Yep. Yeah, fresh out of bed. I do. <laughs> I am asleep until eight forty. No, she has to get up early to get <laughs> yeah. to her nine a.m. massage. Do you know what I just said? I am asleep until eight forty, and then I go back to sleep when I get there. Rub me. Huh. Yeah, you're you're still groggy when you get to your massage. One hundred percent. Yeah, all right. I got sleepies in my eyes. Oh, my hair's yeah. <laughs> Could you work on the balls of my feet? I'm gonna get all this crust <laughs> out of my eyes here. Thank you. I got to take a break here. If you want to get a text in for anything, three five one nine two to do that. If you want to join us on the phone, uh, 216-578-1007 or eight hundred three four eight one double oh seven. The Alan Cox Show on our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite.